Hey, Edgar from Funnel here. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to use uh, drip action in workflows. So as the name suggests, it has something to do with workflows. And yeah, let's just dive in and let's just take a look at the functionality. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use an existing one. I think it's like an empty workflow. Obviously, first thing, always name your workflow. And um, so the drip action, essentially, um, it kind of limits the flow of the people coming through. So it kind of, let's say, um, as an example, we're going to use for this one is you have a new mailing list or like you added it to like a new, yeah, you're just, you're like new to Funnel-topia and you have a mailing list of 10,000 people. You don't want to maybe don't want to send them all like an email at the same time, right? You want to warm up the kind of like the email provider or whatever your reason might be. So in that case, you want to use the uh, drip functionality and uh yeah, there's two parameters. There's the batch size, which is like the amount of people. And then there's the drip interval. So how often they take like the next batch, next batch, next batch, right? So in this example, let's say 10,000 people list. I don't know. I'm just going to do like every one hour, 500 people will, and then whatever goes on after this. So let's say it's like a hey, send them an email or, um, or add them to a new, a, another workflow, right? Maybe there's like a sequence of emails. It doesn't have to be emails, but that's like the example I can think of. And uh, obviously the trigger can be, I don't know, maybe filled out a form. If you have like, if you're expecting like thousands of people to flood in at this exact moment, or uh, maybe you just like, you had a list and you just added them all to, to a workflow, right? So uh, there's different reasons, right? Different triggers. But in this case, yeah, the batch size, I think the maximum was um, 10,000, if I remember correctly. And uh, the interval was, um, I think, up to seven days. But those are like, if I remember correctly, don't quote me on that. But yeah, max batch size. Let's try it out. So batch size, what did I say? 10,000 maximum. Let's do 10,001. Save action. So we can only do a 10,000 maximum and trip interval. Let's do uh, eight days. Yeah, you can only do seven days maximum. So um, yeah, that's kind of the uh, the first example I can think of. Just like you don't want to send to everyone at the same time. You want to do like batches of 500, for example. Don't use that exact number. I just use it as an example. But yeah, that's the drip functionality. And then afterwards, it can be something like, sorry, let's put in the drip uh, 100 every minute. Sure. And then the next one would be something like send email, right? And then you put in the email or add to a workflow and then they get added to the, to the, like the workflow that has like a bunch of emails, like I said before. So yeah, that's kind of the short version. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure to uh, let us know over here, 24 seven chat support over here. I think it doesn't, yeah. When you're in workflows for whatever reason, the bubble is not here. That's why I clicked away. And, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, if you're in any other section, you can just click on down below 24 seven chat support. Let us know. We'll make sure to respond as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, but if you don't have any questions, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.